car who has a trifold and they have it in their car put a one in the chat for me if you've already got one and put a one in the chat if you have a fifth amendment cop card let me know if you guys have a fifth amendment cop card in your wallet in your car if you have one of these if you don't have one of these and you can't afford it all you have to do is contact me i'll email you one you can print out for free I will email you a trifold that you can print out for free. Now, this is on indestructible paper. We're going to get more into that in a little bit. But first, uh, I want to recognize Dan Hanlon, Jeff V. What is going on? Brick, how are you? Basil. Basil's now auditing. Basil uh, is on, on Team DLZ. And now, instead of just being a Team DLZ member, he got a hoodie from me. He got a trifold and a cop card. And Basil is now going out and filming police. And your camera is the key to success for our country's freedom. You can fight for our rights just by going out and filming the police. Just get out there and film the cops. If you want a trifold, go to DeleteLaws.com. If you want to get a free pair of cop cards in your trifold, there's a $20 trifold and a $9 trifold. Please don't make the mistake of getting a $9 when you print it home and then wonder why I didn't send you a trifold and a pair of cop cards. So please make sure you notice the difference. You can get a free pair of cop cards with your trifold make sure you get the $20 one because it goes right in your envelope when I ship out I don't ship a trifold you print at home I have to say that because otherwise people don't notice the difference when they go to the website okay let's get into this and I'm going to show you some mistakes this guy makes and how we can make it better all right okay now on my total tour now? correct all right perfect we'll start from the beginning mm -hmm. I'll just swift badge 172 mm -hmm. I'm stopping right now to give you a ticket because you're parked in front of a fire hydrant mm -hmm. and there's no parking. You want to just hit the, hit the hydrant. On but, camera. okay, we can get the hydrant on camera. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, mm -hmm. do you have your license registration insurance on you? Um, once again, now, what do I need the license and registration for? For identification reasons? Yes. And why do you want to identify me? There is no parking in front of the hydrant. Um, but. So this can go oh, one way. Yeah, it could. It can. It can. It can. It can. You can say, mm -hmm. all right, here you go. I go back to the truck. Mm -hmm. Your information's good. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Am I committing a crime? Up? Am I committing a crime? Are you here picking someone up? Am I committing a crime? That's what you're going to do? No, I'm, I'm giving you I'm giving you eyes in. Okay, that's fine. And may you call a supervisor to the scene as well, please? Go back to the beginning here, and I'm going to stop, right. and I'm going to interrupt. Okay, now, I'm not talking to now. Correct. All right, perfect. We'll start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Ultra Swift, badge 172. Mm -hmm. I'm stopping right now to give you a ticket because you're parked in front of a fire hydrant mm -hmm. and a no parking zone. You want to just hit the, hit the hydrant on camera. But, okay, we can get the hydrant on camera. Hydrant camera. Mm -hmm. okay. Correct. All right, mm -hmm. do you have your license registration insurance on you? Um, once again, now, what do I need a license and registration for? For identification reasons? Yes. And why do you want to identify me? There is no parking zone in front of the hydrant. Um, but so this can go oh, one two ways. Yeah, it could. Okay. So if you're new to my channel and you haven't been to Delete Laws before, welcome. Thank you for coming. I teach people a very specific set of policies, procedures, and protocols so that you don't get put in torture cuffs. So they don't put you in the torture cuffs, put you in the back of a cop car, drag you down to the dungeon impound your car, throw you in the dungeon, and steal your money. The cop's goal is to pull you over, arrest you, impound your car, take you to the dungeon, and steal your money. That's his goal. That's how he makes bonuses and accolades and promotions. So what I teach you is to get your license, registration, and proof of insurance on a laminated card, your current registration, your current proof of insurance, and when you get a trifold from me, I send you this fancy broccoli water rubber band that goes right up inside of your visor. <laughs> now, upon interacting with the Jack <laughs> Boo Thug Pig, you will immediately <coughs> invoke your fifth amendment <coughs> right as soon as you give him your license, registration, and proof of insurance. And that's going to be backed up by your camera. And now, by law, you've given him everything that you have to give him. Now, you're in compliance with the law. I am not for anarchy. I am not for any other form of social culture or social structure than the rule of law that is taught by Jean-Jacques Rousseau's social contract. He's one of the enlightenment thinkers who wrote the social contract that you and I live under today. The moment the cop pulls you over, you give him your license, your registration, and your proof of insurance, just like this. Then as soon as you give it to him, boom, now you've given him everything you have to give him. Now, no matter what he says, do you know how fast you're going? Do you know which way you're heading? 
This elbow wedges into your seat. This elbow wedges into your windowsill. Now I've made a touchdown position with my arms, just like if you watch football, there it is right there. Now, now that I'm in touchdown position, no matter what he says to me, I say I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. And you see what you don't have to answer. Don't ask me where I'm going, where I'm coming from. If I have a gun, if I've been drinking, I'll take no test or seizure. And then you follow it up like this. So you say, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Not, I don't answer questions. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Just like the trifold says, you can say Fifth Amendment, I invoke my right to remain silent. He can't ask you another question, not another question, without violating his oath he took to the Constitution. Once you invoke the Fifth Amendment, he can't say, well, where are you heading? Where are you coming from? Which way are you going? If you go through a DUI checkpoint, it is done just like this. You roll, they come up, they crack the window just slightly. Excuse me, sir, you've been drinking tonight? I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. You know the game of sales, right? Whoever talks first loses. That's how you do it. Tonight during the live stream, if you go to my website, deletelaws.com, I'll give you 12 hours. I'll give you a trifold for free and get one free. You buy one, you get one free. Now, a lot of people have the idea that you don't have to have a driver's license in the United States of America. And the founding constitution says that you don't. You have a right to travel. The 1915 case of Hendricks versus Maryland says that you have to have a license. And as a leader, it's not my job to walk you into a dungeon. It's my job to walk you away from that cop. And once you invoke your rights, bam, once you invoke your rights and you got it on camera, you've seen me do it. Once I invoked my rights, I invoked my First Amendment right, my Fifth Amendment right. If that jackboot thug pig says anything to me, you watch my videos, I just start to lambaste him, make him look like a moron, make him look like the idiot that he is, the evil demon that signs up to be the cop. Now, some of you guys don't see cops as evil demons, but I do. Put a one in the chat if you're one of those people who thinks that cops, their goal is to pull you over, arrest you, impound your car, Fuck take the you police. to the dungeon, and steal <laughs> your money. And that's what the police is going is. This bad chicken right here with this technology that has revolutionized the world is your key to taking your power back from these jackboot thug pigs. They dominated me for too long until I had the camera and I could invoke my rights on camera. And now, when I come on the scene, cops get fired. That's a fact. That's a fact. Again, again, again. You can say, mm -hmm. all right, here you go. I go back to the truck. Mm -hmm. Information's good. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Am I committing a crime? Up? Am I committing a crime? Are you here picking someone up? Am I committing a crime? No, I'm, I'm giving you, I'm giving did, you I, did you hear how many questions he asked in a five second span? Listen to how many questions the pig asked because he didn't invoke his fifth amendment right. Even though he says he's a state national, he could still invoke his fifth amendment right. Why didn't he? You can say, mm -hmm. all right, here you go. I go back to the truck. Mm -hmm. Your information's good. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Am I committing a crime? Up? Am I committing a crime? Are you here picking someone up? There's a question. Am I committing a crime? There's another question. No, I'm I'm giving you I'm giving He answered the question. <laughs> yeah, I think, okay. That's fine. <laughs> um, well please. Yeah, can we get a supervisor to the scene, please? Right. A second. Do I see what? And I need you can you can you repeat your um badge number and your name one more time as well? Could you, pardon me? Huh? You want me to identify myself right now? Okay. My name is you.